have you heard of Push Button Hill? It's actually a very popular spot for fishermen 10 miles off the coast of Stewart, but rarely have divers been down to explore the area several hundred feet below the surface. CBS 12 News reporter Andrew Lofholm, he recently went out on an expedition to try and understand the area and how the Gulf Stream interacts with rocks and the reefs. The conditions have to be virtually perfect, calm seas and good visibility. Today, it is perfect. The areas that we're going to be diving, we have no idea which way the currents are going to be taking us. But it's important for us to see what's developing out there and how the Gulf Stream is cutting through this pinnacle that's never really been studied um, that we know of. Technical diver Marty Watson is leading the expedition with two boats and six divers split into three teams, each team with their own safety diver. Every dive you learn something new. Something goes wrong, you learn how to fix it. The divers are using what's called a rebreather. It scrubs out CO2 so they can stay at extreme depths for a long time. Marty is ready to be underwater for nearly four hours. We're going to uncharted territories. We have a guesstimate, but we don't know, but we're prepared to see some, some depth. We've got the equipment, we've got the knowledge, we've got the resources. We're doing it, but the bugs are still in your stomach. Max, here. From Pirate's Cove and Stewart, it's an hour and a half to make it out nine miles. They'll be dropping in. As we get closer, the focus level rises and the gear starts going on. To stay cool, they're doused with water until they're in position. Cap, they are ready now. Yeah, All in. But not even a minute later, the problems begin. We gotta come on, we gotta redrop. Marty's scooter isn't working, which is crucial. If you don't have yourself in a good position and you get caught in one of those currents, it's gonna push you up and over the ridge and you might lose control of your buoyancy, which is really important to maintain neutral depth. And his dive partner, Chris Ogden's dry suit, is taking on water. What's up, brother? He's got a leak in his dry suit. You wanna call it? No, I don't wanna call it, but I wanna bounce. The other four divers continue on as these issues are dealt with as best they can. Marty has a new scooter. Chris is still a go. And about 10 seconds later, scooter's not pulling me. Jen Jennings sums it up best. <laughs> the scooter issue gets resolved and they descend. Are we clear? All clear. Copy clear. We go up top to catch up with Captain Steve Crasco. If you look at the entire coastline, there's really nothing like this anywhere along the whole entire coastline of Florida. This is video from a previous dive of a different area. I think it's really neat to be a part of it because it's just something that nobody else does. You know, we're kind of breaking new ground here. This is video from today. The dive turns out to be more what they didn't find than what they did. This is the last of the six divers coming up right now. They spent about an hour and 20 minutes down there. We got, we got a little bit of stuff, but yeah. nothing, nothing crazy. We were way too far off course. Back on shore, plans to go back out are already being discussed. At the very least, checked off an area they don't need to see again. The team was prepped. The team was ready. Murphy's Law. What can I say? It's exploration. In Stewart, Andrew Lawfoam, CBS 12 News.